In the previous video, we discussed how America can fight the BrahMos or Onyx missiles using long and medium range missiles, so what did we learn? That if a ship possesses purely medium range SAM systems, its chances of survival are very low in a modern conflict. If it faces a missile like BrahMos, its chances reduce threefold. Hence many navies are opting for a layered defense system with airborne electronic warfare or AEW systems to protect their expensive warships. But back to the last question in the first video, how about Aegis, which is the best in the world can deal with 20 to 30 missiles like BrahMos? The answer is yes and no. Yes. The Aegis is the best in the world because it can combine data from every ship and aircraft radar in the fleet and draw a big picture of the surrounding airspace. It gets early data from E-2 aircraft which enables it to intercept missiles 100 more kilometer from the fleet. And no because even the world's most advanced anti-missile system has a saturation limit. The exact value is not disclosed for obvious reasons, but considering a carrier battle group will have three Aegis-equipped escorts in more time, 48 fighters with 8 on combat air patrol and 2 E-2 will be airborne for providing over-the-horizon radar coverage, the saturation limit for this carrier battle group will be around 64 BrahMos missiles. The 300km range of the BrahMos in mixed altitude flight and 120km range in low altitude flight means that it cannot be fired from beyond the radar coverage of the carrier battle group. Hence the deadliest delivery platform will be Russian Yasin subs which carry 32 Yakut and can fire them while submerged. But submarine warfare is a very complicated matter. The American Carrier Battle Group is equipped with a very capable anti-submarine system which is provided by submarines, other escort ships, helicopters, and aircraft. There is one specific missile which has been designed from scratch to shoot down BrahMos. It the Barak 8. This missile was primarily developed by Israel to equip its warships to protect them from the Yakut missiles, this missile was built by India and Israel. Israeli ships have only short-range SAMs and do not have modern radars capable of dealing with attacks using Yakut missiles. The answer to this problem is the highly agile and accurate Barak 8 which packs the best technology available into a medium-sized missile. With a maximum range of 90 more kilometer, operates in conjunction with an MF star radar which can detect sea skimming missiles at a range of 30 to 35 kilometer. Barak 8 is combining medium and short range missiles in one missile. This missile is capable of hitting targets at a distance of only 300 meters to 90 kilometer. There are claims that when Barak 8 can stop the Brahmos at a distance of 500 meters from the ship. One of the reasons behind the claims is that the Barak 8 is indeed very accurate and has an active homing radar seeker, which allows the ship to technically find its own target even if the ship does not provide guidance and updates halfway through. Since the Barak 8 is capable of continuously locking incoming missiles with its own radar, MF Star can guide 24 Barak 8 missiles to intercept 12 targets simultaneously. India's Kolkata class ships carry the Barak 8 which means the saturation limit for these ships against the Brahmos is 12. However this is a strange contradiction. Because the Kolkata class brings Brahmos and Barak 8 at the same time. This means that the Indian Navy carries both the poison and the antidote on the same platform. From this analysis, we can hypothesize that the Kolkata class has nothing in common with the Burke in terms of a missile defense role. Because Kolkata only carries 32 Barracks 8, while Burke carries 96 SAMs which can be upgraded to more than 192 by quad packing ESSM. Burke is the same as Kolkata in the missile saturation defense role against the Brahmos alone. 
The Burke's advantage allows it to withstand sustained missile attacks with a large missile load. The Burke has the advantage of being able to shoot down missiles at a range of 200 km while using AEW assets, but Kolkata cannot. Burke has more opportunities for sustained attack. Then how about beef against Brahmos with Sam short range? If you are a captain of a ship already using short-range missiles to shoot down anti-ship missiles, then in fact you are already in deep trouble. This means that enemy missiles have managed to penetrate the defensive umbrellas provided by various SAMs to the point of having to use the last bastion. You only have about 5 to 10 seconds to react if what you face is a supersonic missile. Meanwhile, if a subsonic missile arrives, there is about 20 to 30 seconds left to determine the life and death of your ship because the short-range SAM is in the 10 to 15 km category. A shot from 8 to 12 SAM defenses is normally fired to shoot down 2 to 3 incoming anti-ship missiles. Since the missile is so close to the ship, don't expect a second chance. So firing as many missiles as possible is the most sensible option. So how does a ship defend itself against Brahmos using short-range SAM systems? If these systems are part of a layered defense system, then they have to deal with only one or two missiles as the remaining Brahmos would have been neutralized by the longer ranged systems. This is a relatively simple task for systems like the rolling airframe missile REM, or Barak-1 which are designed to kill sea-skimming supersonic missiles. But even these can handle more than two to three Brahmos on their own as they have a range of 10 km which gives them just a few seconds to react at only a few missiles can be fired in that time. So if you eat on a warship which has only a short-range SAM system for defense, and more than two Brahmos missiles are fired at you, your future is bleak. Your only hope is to close your eyes while waiting for what happens. The ship also has anti-missile gun. These guns are extremely popular in modern-day air defense systems due to their quick reaction times and the ability to shoot down targets at very short ranges. Most modern navies use close-in weapon systems which consists of a high rate of fire gun acting on its own or combined with short-range SAM systems. Currently, the US Navy deploys Phalanx close-in weapon system on all its destroyers. It is a closed-loop system, with a search tracking radar and the 20mm scatling gun and ammunition combined into a self-sustained system. It has a max range of 3 km and an effective range of 1.5 km when dealing with low-flying cruise missiles. If it faces a single Brahmos which has bypassed other missile defense layers, the radar of the phalanx locks onto the Brahmos and unleashes a torrent of 20mm depleted uranium projectiles which should shred the Brahmos easily. But, it won't be as easy as imagined, or maybe it won't happen. The Phalanx has 3000 revolutions per minute which translates to 50 revolutions per second. While the Brahmos is flying at a speed of 1 km per second and the effective range of the Phalanx is 1.5 km. You only have 1.5 seconds to shoot down the Brahmos when the Brahmos is 1.5 km from your ship. And because Brahmos is traveling so fast, if you shoot less than 500 meters from your ship, the fragments will still attack your ship at high speed and cause damage. So the Brahmos must be shot with this weapon at a distance of between 500 meters and 1.5 kilometers. This gives a total firing time of 1 second. And it took half a second to reach a full rate of fire so that only about 40 rounds could be shot at that time. It DOES and end here, Brahmos performs an S maneuver in its final few kilometer of flight. This makes it extremely difficult for Phalanx to get a lock on Brahmos. 
it will have less than two seconds to lock onto a maneuvering target flying at three times the speed of sound. It is practically impossible for the phalanx to shoot down Brahmos. Hence the US Navy is replacing it with RAM on its bigger warships as it triples the range and gives a better chance of survival for a warship. But there is no RAM on Berks and they have a single phalanx only. The older variants have two, but it's not like it makes much of a difference. Phalanx is useful against subsonic targets and supersonic ones traveling at Mach 1-1.5. Against Brahmos, it's useless. The US Navy is working on a solution to this already. The answer is in their laser close-in weapon system which has been operationally deployed recently. It is currently capable of shooting down slow aerial and surface targets, but with improvements, by the next decade, a laser close-in weapon system would be widely deployed and would be capable of swatting multiple BrahMos missiles like flies. But then again, a hypersonic version of BrahMos is under development which will enter service in the next decade. Flying at Mach 5 to 7. It could prove to be a headache for lasers as well. But we all know that 10 years from now. In conclusion, the Brahmos is not an invincible missile. It is just a bigger headache for the ones at the receiving end of it. With a decent SAM system, you may be able to defend your ship against attacks by subsonic missiles. But to defend yourself from the BrahMos, you need an expensive, high-end, layered missile defense system. But smaller navies using basic air defense systems don't stand a chance. Their only hope is prayer. So if you EA worship captain, it always safer to be on the side which has Brahmos or Yakhant than to be on the side which has to face the Brahmos.